hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another tutorial it's me ig and i'm back with a new tutorial to all my returning subscribers you guys are amazing to my new subscribers you are welcome to the family i appreciate all your comments all your likes thank you very much for supporting me and for those that have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Subscription is free. Put on the notification bell that whenever I drop a video, you will be notified. Today's tutorial is how to draft a bustier corset pattern with side darts. Earlier on, I've made a video on how to draft a corset with chest darts, but this one that we are drafting today is going to be a side dart. We are going to draft two types of corsets. One is to make an off shoulder bustier pattern. The other one, the other corset we are going to make is for us to use it as a yoke. If you want to make a corset with yoke, this tutorial is for you. We are going to draft a corset bustier pattern with yoke i'm going to explain it in details so that the beginners the newcomers in designing will understand everything bit by bit it is very simple it is very easy to achieve now guys in order to achieve your corsets you must make use of your basic bodies pattern so now i will quickly insert our basic bodice pattern. So here is the starting point. I will now place my tape on the starting point to insert the vertical measurement. From the shoulder to 10 inches is my bust point. To 16 and half inches is my waist plus half inch seam allowance. I will also extend it to this side 10 inches 16 and half and half inch 17 i'll make it into a straight line now this is the vertical line that you need in your basic bodice pattern so now let us insert our shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement i'm working with is seven and a half plus half inch that is eight how do we get it? Uh, the shoulder divided in two. So my shoulder is 15. I divide it in two. It's seven and a half plus half inch, eight inches. So I will now insert eight inches here. So on this eight inches, I will now come down by one inch as my shoulder slope. Now connect it to the shoulder area. Do you see this is my shoulder slope now I'll, i determine my armhole so from this one inch i came down from shoulder slope i'll mark my eight inches as my armhole i will also do the same on this side on this side remember it's going to be nine inches because of the shoulder slope so i'll make it into a straight line So now my arm hole measurement is 8 inches. So I've marked my 8 inches and I also draw a line also here. Remember, this arm hole line, you can call it the chest line or the upper bust line. The three names are the same. Arm hole line, chest line or the upper bust line. They are the same. So now, this is our basic body stretching. We don't need always our under busts in making a simple basic body pattern. But to achieve your corset, you have to insert the under bust. You have to insert the under bust because everything you are working goes around the under bust so that is why you are going to insert your under bust so this is the normal basic pattern 
if you are making a simple gown or whatever this is the normal basic bodies so now to achieve our corset we are going to insert our under bust so now from here from the shoulder i'll mark my under bust what is my under bust is 14 inches because i'm trying to make a corset that is why i'm bringing in the under bust so i'll mark at 14 inches That is why I said to uh, to get your corset, you have to make use of your basic bodice pattern. So here now is the under bust. Having achieved our under bust, now making the corset for an off shoulder pattern, you need where your off shoulder have to start. That is the neckline of the off shoulder. You need where it has to start. So now I'm going to insert it. So from the shoulder here, I'm going to come down by seven inches. Remember it is off. So this seven inches is going off from the main pattern to achieve your corset as an off shoulder pattern. From this shoulder side, you can reduce, you can take away any number of inches that you want. You can go with five inches, six inches seven inches depending on how deep you want your off shoulder to be so let us make use of seven inches so from this shoulder i'm going to place seven inches so here is the seven inches here will now be our neck line where our off shoulder is going to start so let's mark it Do you see it? So this is our neckline. So let me put down the names for you to understand. The NL means the neckline. The CL means the chest line. You can also call it the upper bust point. Or you can call it also the arm, arm hole. Do you see it? You can also call it the armhole. These three names are the same. When you hear chest line or upper bust line or armhole, it means the same thing. That is where we always insert our bust measurement while making our patterns on this chest line or the upper bust point or the armhole. Here is where we insert. So any of this name you hear, don't be confused it is the same thing and this is where we now derive our armhole do you see it so you, if you are now making let me insert my bust measurement the bust measurement we are working is 9.5 that is 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 so this is the 9.5 here do you see it so you make your curve Do you see why it is called the armhole line or the upper bust line or the chest line? Do you see the armhole? We are now gotten our armhole curve. Do you see it? So now the next thing to do, having determined our neckline, our upper bust line, the bust point, the under bust and the waist and also the allowance. The next thing for us to determine here is our nipple to nipple measurement. In making a corset, you need your nipple to nipple measurement. So what is the nipple to nipple measurement we are working with? The nipple to nipple measurement we are working with is 7. From one nipple to the other is 7 inches. So divided by 2, you are going to have three and a half then add it half inch seam allowance that is four inches so we are going to now insert our four inches here so from this upper bust line i'm going to insert four inches and i'll bring it down to the waist line do you see it 
and I'll give it a straight. So now this is our nipple to nipple measurement, four inches. Now we are going to determine our bust radius. And what is all about bust radius? Bust radius means simply the distance between your bust point and your under bust. That is all. The bust point and the under bust, the difference between both of them, that is what is called the radius. That is what you need to achieve your corset. And what is the radius we are working with? We are working with four. So let us determine it. Now, here, remember, we insert our the names. Here is the bust point. Here is the bust point. Here is our bust point. Here is the under bust. And here is the waist plus allowance. The bust point, under bust, and waist with allowance. So, to achieve your bust radius, you have to place your tape. Take your tape. Place it here on the bust point and see what is the difference between the distance between the bust point and the under bust. Mine is four inches. Here is my four inches. Do you see it? So with these four inches now, I'm going to measure it round. I'm going to place it, measure it round. Do you see it? I measure it round. If you have a compact, you can place it here and extend it to four inches and now cover it round. But if you don't have, just use your tape and place it here and now trace your four inches. Do you see it? Trace your four inches. So I'm going to trace my four inches till I come back to here, to this point. Do you see it? Guys, these lines, that these dotted lines are our four inches. That is the difference between the bust point and the under bust. That is the radius, the bust radius. So this is what we have marked round. So now the next thing to determine is our darts. On the under bust, I'm going to take one inch on both sides. If you want, you can use one one quarter, depending on how tight or fitted you want the darts to be. But I'm going to make use of one inch. So on this side, I'm going to take one inch. And on this side, I'm going to take one inch. I will now bring it down to the waist. If you are making this corset to come to the hip, you also do the same. Take it down to your hip. So now I'm going to draw a straight line to it. This corset making is also for beginners to learn. It is not difficult. Do you see it? That's the dart. So from this dart now, I'll connect it to the boss point. Just take your cuff, place it in this form. Connect your dart to your boss point. And turn this side. Also connect it to your boss point. Do you see it? I've connected it to the boss point. So, on this bust point, I'll now determine my center front. How I want my center front to be. How deep or how low I want it to be. Then I'll take my tape, place it. If you want it to be one inch, one and a half, two inches, you are free to do that. But I'm going to place it at one and a half. That is the center going to place it at one and a half from the boss point and I came up to one and a half that is the front point that is the front side that is the center front so on this one and a half inch you you rem remember you have to join this cup to the body so I would like to take three quarter inch so that when I now use quarter inch to join the cups i will now be left with one inch so the opening on my front that is the center point on my front will be one inch so i will now come in from this point now from this one and a half that i came up i will now go in by three quarter inch do you see it so i'll now give it a line 
that is the center front that's my center front do you see it here is my center front we have to achieve my center front so from this center front now i'm going to connect it to the under bust see from this center front is so easy and simple to achieve you see it i connect it to the under bust and remember on this side of our body our bust is more bigger or larger than this part so to accommodate the size of the bust on this area we are going to go out by some inches depending on the size of the bust for average size you go out by half inch for people with larger busts, you can now go out with three quarter inch or one inch. But I'm making use of half inch. So from this half inch now, I will now connect it to the under bust. Here is the under bust. Do you see it? I've connected it. Remember to close up this gap. You have to close up this gap from the upper chest line. That is the upper bust line. You have to close it. Just take your ruler and go up. You see it? You close it up. So now, on making cosettes, the last one that I made, I took my that out from the upper chest here but this corset we are making now like i said is going to be a side that so in making a side that you are going to cover up from here you are going to cover up to the neckline do you see it from this your neckline you are going to cover up round you are not going to cut it open you are going to cover it up do you see it you are going to cut to meet the center front just cover it up you can decide to go up or you can decide to come low but i'm going to go with the neckline this neckline that we determine i'm going to go with it if you want you go above it or you go below it but i'm going to go i'm going to make use of this neckline so i'm going to connect it from here from here now i'm going to connect it do you see it from here that is where we cover up. I'm going to connect it and come to the center point. So take your cuff. You see it you've now covered it up from this point from this upper bust i now curve it till the center point that's simple so now let us determine our side that from this bust point now take in half inch on both sides half inch here because it's a side dart that we are making and not the chest dart. And go up also by half inch. And on this side, also do the same. And come down with half inch. Do you see it? So now you are going to connect it to the boss point here. But if you connect it direct to the boss point here, it might tip. It might have a point when you sew it. So to avoid that tip, just come out by quarter inch. See it? Just come out from the bust point quarter inch and also here go quarter inch. The two sides go out by quarter inch. Do you see it? From the bust point now, I came here by quarter inch. And from the bust point, I came to this side also by quarter inch. And from here now, I'll connect to the darts. 
because this is a side dart and not a chest dart. I've made a video of a chest dart and today is a side dart. And from here also you connect it. And also you connect it. Do you see it? So now you now connected it to the quarter inch that you came out to avoid it being tip at the point here. Do you see it? So now the next thing to do, we have achieved our dart, the side dart, and the waist dart. We have achieved it. So the next thing now to do is just to insert our measurement. Remember, we are not going to insert the full measurement after we cut it. When you are making your cloth, place it on your cloth, you will now add half inch to all these sides that we are going to cut out. But now, let us insert our bust measurement. The bust we are working with is 9.5, that is 38, divided by 4 is 9.5. Here is 9.5. And the waist we are working with is waist 34. 34 divided by 4, you are going to have 8.5. Here is our 8.5. You see it? If you are working with your underbust, also insert your underbust. If you are not working with underbust, while you now curve it to the waist, you are going to also take care of the underbust. So let us insert our underbust. Underbust we are working with is 8.25. That is the underbust we are working with. Remember, these darts are going out where we have to replace it. So this is 2 inches. We have to replace our 2 inches. And here is 2 inches on the underbust. We have to replace our 2 inches. On this chest line, we are not taking anything out here. But we are going to add half inch to join this. So we add also half inch. Do you see it? So now we connect our lines. Remember, when you cut it out and place on your material, you will now add the final allowance that you need. From the bust point, you now connect it to the upper bust point or the chest line to achieve your armhole. Now use your cuff, place it from the bust point to the upper bust line to create your armhole. Do you see it? So simple to achieve and you are good to go. Now let us cut our panels out. Before cutting it out, finally, before cutting it out, try to label it. This is one, this is two, and this is three. So now we cut it out. That's the dart. Now guys, I've cut our panels out. This is our center front. Do you see it? Our center front. And this is the cuffs. Do you see it? And this is the upper part because it's a side that. Do you see it? And this is the side. Do you see it? So uh, later, I'm going to use solo tape to gum it together for you guys to see how it will look but now let me show to you guys how to cut it if you want to use it as a yoke basically this is exactly what we have just did but the difference here is that if you want to use the upper part as your yoke 
you will now determine your neckline. You, are not, you can also make use of this neckline, the first one that we made. If you want the neckline to be higher, like the picture on the screen that you are seeing now, if you want to use it to achieve that type of gown or skirt or blouse, you are now going to make use of this yoke. You will now determine your neckline. So now the difference is that while cutting, you are going to now achieve your armhole because you are going to use it as a yoke. Remember, making an now, if you want to use it to achieve a yoke, remember to come in by half inch, like we always draft when making an ordinary top or blouse or whatever with a bodice, a basic bodice. We always come in half inch from the front panel to achieve our armhole. So now this is the half inch here from the shoulder slope divide what you have as your armhole divided by two which i did which is four and i came in by half inch do you see it so i now connected it to meet the bust measurement here so instead in the other one remember while cutting we cut across here but on making a corset you are not going to curve it again here you are going to join it to the armhole. That is, you are going from this point, you are going to join instead of coming down to cut it, you are going to join it because this is your yoke. You are going to use this upper part as your yoke. So you are not going to curve it down anymore, but you are going to close this gap. From here, from the chest line, you are going to close the gap. Do you see it to the armhole? Because you are going to join it later. So you close it up. Do you see it? So we close it up. You now have your new armhole curve. Do you see it? So that is the way to make it if you want to use it as a yoke. That's the only difference from the armhole here. Is the only difference if you want to use this upper part as your yoke. The center point remains the same depending on the style you want to make. So now let us cut it out to show to you guys how it's going to look if you decide to use it as a yoke. So now instead of cutting it in this form, cutting it in this form, you cut it straight. Do you see it? You now cut it straight because you are going to join it back to the main body. Do you see what I'm doing? You cut it. Remember on this upper part to determine your neckline. So let's assume that I want to use three inches. I, I want to use four by four or four by three. That is the width is four inches and the depth is three inches. I'll now mark it and I'll take my cuff to determine the neckline that I want. Do you see it? I now determine my neckline. So remember on this side to, uh, to add your half inch seam allowance to join it to the back because the back is going to be a normal bodice. So you come up to close it. Do you see it? So let's continue cutting. Do you see it now? This is now going to be your yoke. While the corset remains the same. Just the difference is that now you don't Cover it anymore, but you cut it to join the armhole here. So let us cut it completely.
now guys this is how to cut it if you are going to use it as a yoke as a corset with yoke after fixing this then you now use your yoke if you want it for a design you can open it up as a keyhole you can also use it to achieve it like the foot the picture on the screen you can use this upper part to achieve that so that is the way to cut it out so simple you make use of your yoke and also your corset the difference between the corset with yoke and the corset of off shoulder is that you now connect it to the armhole so that after joining it together you can also join your after joining it together you can also join the yoke do you see it so easy to achieve so simple to achieve do you see it now guys this is the corset to make your off shoulder and the off shoulder block corset is this and to make your yoke corset is this do you see how beautiful it is so simple to achieve do you see it now guys this is the corset with chest darts the one we are making is with side dart that is the bust dart the side bust dart but this is the chest dart so i will quickly cut it out to show to you guys the difference between the side dart and the chest dart this is the chest dart because the dart is taken away from the upper chest line do you see it i've made a well detailed video on how to draft this corset i'm going to link it in the description box below for you guys to check it out i'm just showing to you for you to know the difference between the side that and the chest that so that you can make choice of yours the same anyone you use you achieve the same corset It's the same measurement the difference is just that this is the upper chest that and the one we are making is the side that so i'm going to cut it out and show to you guys the difference between the two now guys this is the difference the side that do you see it it has three pieces of the cup do you see it one two three while the chest that has only two pieces of it do you see it so that's the only difference but the end result is the same it depends the style that you like if you like this style this is the one that we are drafting now then if you like the chest that i've made a well detailed video on how to achieve this corset i will link it up in the description box below as i've earlier said for you to check out the end result is the same thing the measurements are the same just that the difference is the chest that and the side that do you see it so now remember all these pieces we did not add while drafting it we did not add seam allowance so now when you now take it and place on your material then remember to add half inch seam allowance all through the same to this all these pieces you have to add half inch seam allowance to join it together also this you add half seam allowance or this you only have to add half seam allowance on this side but on the edge which you are going to use in what you are going to place unfold remember this is unfold you are going to place it on fold we are not going to add any allowance to this side it's only this side that you are going to add allowance and also on these areas you add your allowances and here also you add your allowance and also the allowance to join it to the back side the same thing to this you determine your allowance half inch all these ones all the cups is half inch including this area is half inch you are going to add but on the side you are going to add your full allowance to join it to 
the front or the back panel please don't forget that because if you don't do that you are not going to get the right result so remember your allowance half inch all through so now let us get to the back panel so if you are making the cosette with the cosette with yoke you just need your basic bodies the back panel which i've now draft here if you want a princess that this is a princess that just take your measurement from shoulder till your half length or whatever length that you are using here is the shoulder to the half length what that i'm using and from here i came down to one inch as my shoulder slope which i connected to the neckline and also i now achieve my armhole which is eight inches do you see it that is the chest line then here is my waistline with the same allowance 16 inches and half plus half inch that is 17 that is my vertical measurement at the back and also i achieved my nipple to nipple measurement remember i've not added my zip allowance when i now place it on my material i'll now add one inch or one and a half inches seam allowance for the zip so now this is the boss point so from this chest line i now connected it four inches from the chest line to the waistline i connected it and i now take away my half inch do you see it half inch from both sides then i connected it to the chest line and from the armhole line i now divided it into two which is four i have eight inches that is my armhole line i divided it into two which is four inches from there i now connect the four inches i now connected it to the waist that do you see it i now connected it to the waist that from the four inches i use my cup because i want it to be a princess that also at the back that is why i connected it to the waist do you see it with my curve i connected it to the waist if you want an ordinary block ordinary normal back panel you can also use it to achieve your corset in the front the choice is yours but if you want a princess that i've made a well detailed video on how to cut a princess that both front and back you can check it out i'm going to also link it to the description box below so this is it so let us now cut it out and you add your horizontal measurements that is it if you want to use it for the one of cosette so let us cut it out on this on this armhole i came out by half inch because when we cut it out now for instance let me cut it so on this armhole On this armhole, I came out by half inch so that when sewing it, it's not going to be short. So remember to come out half inch from the armhole and connect it so that it's not going to be short when you are joining it to the main body. That is the side panel. Do you see it? So now. And when you now join it to the when you now come out by half inch you are going to now make use of a new armhole and not the initial one that you drafted because of the half inch that you came out you are going to use your curve to determine a new armhole do you see it do you see it now you now determine a new armhole because of the half inch that you came out if you don't do it in this form when you now join it it is going to be short is going to be short so you need to come out by half inch and connect a new arm hole so now let's continue cutting here is the first arm hole and the second one we are cutting 
Do you see it? Remember to put take in your half inch on the shoulder for the same allowance and determine any neckline of your choice. And remember to add half inch allowance to this side and to the side. So this, this is the zip partner side and this is the side of the body. So remember to add this, that you are taking away. Remember to add it back when you are now measuring on your material. I've made a well detailed video on how to achieve this so simple you can check it out please so that's our panel do you see it that is our princess that panel for making the back if you want to use the corset with if you want to use the corset with yoke you can use this back panel of the princess that to achieve it if you decide to achieve it with the normal bodies it's also okay so now let us work on the back panel of the normal of the corsets of making an off shoulder so now so now guys what the easiest way you can draft it on the normal way of drafting a panel for making your off shoulder blouse or top but if you also want to use this corset pattern to draft it it's so simple just take the side the side panel place it on your plain paper and achieve your lines remember this line here is our bust line this line and this is the upper chest this is the upper bust line which is known also as the chest line just trace it and also the waist we don't need the under bust so give it a straight line So that is what you need in making the back panel of the corset. Remember to add your one inch seam allowance. Let us add it. Seam allowance. So now let us insert our measurements. You also need your nipple to nipple measurements. This is the nipple to nipple measurement. And also you now bring it up the nipple to nipple measurement. To the upper chest line and you now give it a straight line and on each side take away half inch allowance take away half inch that allowance and also connect it to the upper chest do you see it and on this upper chest line, you now insert your bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 9.5. And on your waist, you insert your waist measurement. We are working with 8.5. See it? And remember the dart that you are taking out to replace it. That is one inch. Do you see it? So now we are going to connect our lines. So from this upper chest line, you connect it to the waist. So how do you want your neckline to be? If you want it to be straight in this form, you can keep it in that way. If you want it to have a little bit of curve at the back, you can come down by one inch 
or one and a half or two depending on how deep you want it to be let's assume that we want it to be one and a half then we'll now mark one and a half here and from this place we'll now join it that is to have a curve at the back do you see it you are good to go and now you cut out your measurement so now let's cut it out that's the back of our corset do you see it so simple to achieve remember why when you place it on your material you have to add half inch but here on this side you don't have to add any allowance because already you have added the zip allowance but here all here you have to add half inch and the normal allowance that you need at the sides but on this zip side you don't have to add any allowance on the rest sides you have and on the down remember the allowance have been added that is why it is 18 inches that is why it is 17 inches from the shoulder to the waist that we are working with the allowance have been added so the allowance to add is here the upper side the sides and also here and also this side and also the side to join it to the front panel that is the allowance that you have to add you also do the same to the front panel when you place it on your material to add the allowances that you needed so now guys i'm going to tape it and show to you guys how it looks now guys this is our corset to make an off shoulder blouse or gown or whatever that you want to make it is an off shoulder corset with side that do you see it do you see how it is and that's the back panel remember to add all your seam allowances remember here is on fold when you are placing it on your material here this point the center point is on fold and the rest you cut out in two pieces that is you you fold it you cut it out in two pieces but this you cut it out on fold this will be the edge do you see it that's it. our corset to make an off shoulder top corset with side that and not just that do you see how simple it is and very beautiful now guys let me show you the corset to make a yoke if he decides to use it as a yoke let me show it to you guys here is our corset if you decide to make it as a yoke do you see it this is the yoke and this is the center and this is the corset do you see it's so simple and easy to achieve that's your yoke if you decide to make it as a yoke and that's the back panel if you want to use it as a princess that let me shift it this side for you guys to see it so simple and easy to achieve do you see it if you want to make it as a princess that at the back this is the panel if you want to use it with a normal back bodies you can also draft it i've made a video on that normal bodies if you want it you can check out the video if you want to use it as a princess that at the back and this is the corset with the yoke so simple and easy to achieve guys if this tutorial on how to achieve these two types of corsets has been helpful to you don't forget to like share and comment on my videos and if you have not subscribed please subscription is free it's totally free just hit on the red button and put on the notification that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video i'll see you in my next video bye bye